Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in this video, you're going to write the very first smart contract in this Salty course. Every single video will be divided in four parts. In the first part, we'll talk about the theoretical part of the syntax. In the second part, we're going to do the practicals around the syntax. In the third part, we're going to see some real world smart contract examples which have used those syntax. And at the end, we're going to cover a couple of interview questions related to this particular topic. So this is how I'm going to plan every single video right from here. Okay, so here I have opened my Remix ID. Make sure to do that. Can able to code along with me. So first thing we have to do is to provide the license identifier, and this is the general convention which you have to follow. Okay, it's going to be MIT. Okay, so to know what this MIT is, come here, and here you can able to find all the details that what this MIT stand for. Okay, it's actually a copyright, and it's free to use. You can easily able to use this software to write smart contract. You can modify as per your contract. So I will provide the link of this GitHub repo in the description, so you guys can check and you have to keep in one thing in mind that the compiler version you use in the salty smart contract it should be equal to 8.13 and less than 9 okay so and this is the updated one so make sure to always use the latest compiler version and here we're going to take this pragma salty and then we're going to define the compiler version which we want to use and as you can see this arrow up means that take this version and whatever version above this we can use that as well okay so this arrow up means like take all the version above this 8.18 okay so that's what it is okay so i won't take 30 not 18 so this is the salty version we have here now we'll come here and now we have to create the contract so to create the contract there is a keyword in salty by the name contract and then you have to define the name of your contract okay so make sure you should always give your contract name in capital letter okay so i'll say my first contract and this is the dynamic block so if you have coded in javascript classes then you will find the similar structure here as well okay and now i'm going to define a couple of state variable here we're going to talk about each of these variables each of this data type in detail in the further videos okay i just want to show you that how you can build a simple smart contract and build your first smart contract okay so i'm going to take this string and it will come it will have no data and here if i come here and if i deploy this deploy this click on this account i'm going to choose this one like remix vm london and now i'm going to deploy this contract okay pick the contract and deploy here i will get the transaction and you can see right now i have nothing here and because to access this data all i have to do is i can simply come here in the abi if i copy you can see this is completely empty i don't have anything whenever you will compile your code it will generate the ABI of the smart contract which we have written in that you will have all the data okay I, I believe that this sounds complicated right now but I want to explain everything from the beginning okay we're going to have a detailed discussion on each of these ABI and by code and how we can utilize it okay so right now we don't have anything here okay? we're going to remove it and if we look at the byte code you can see this is the byte code got generated so we have the function debugger it's entirely empty we don't have any data because we haven't written any functionality anything like that okay so it's completely empty we have here so okay so this is our byte code source map everything we have here now delete this one and now what we can do is let's come here and right now you can see the balance in this contract is zero because we haven't have any ether into this contract so now what i can do i want to see the value of this string hey okay so for that i can use this public keyword okay and it's an inbuilt keyword in salty smart contract which allow you to create a getter function okay we can easily able to access this data by creating a separate function which allow us to fetch the information but if you use this public keyword in your variables it will automatically create the getter function okay so we have a detailed discussion on this don't need to worry about it okay just follow along with me so now if i deploy the contract if i delete and deploy the contract one more time and here you can see right now i got this hey because of this public keyword okay and this public keyword will generate a get a function for me so if i click on this if i click on this i can see the data type i'm getting and there is no value in that okay there is no value in that so now we have to assign a value so you can simply assign a value like this you have an option to assign the value right in the state variable sections okay so you can define the value here hey dollar and that's okay okay save it delete it and deploy the contract one more time and if you click on this hey you can see i got the value okay so this is how you can easily able to access the data of the state variable and how you can define state variable okay 
so this is one way and now what i want to do i want to take this unt because there are multiple data type we have boolean unt array okay we're going to have a detailed discussion on this just follow along with me and understand that what are the things we can do in the simple contract okay so i'll take this unt and this time i have to change this value to four and I make sure to change the name so we have to change this name to something like num okay so let's make it num and uh, no no sorry and now we can deploy the contract and you can see here we have the contract if we click on the header lot number okay so this is the data we can easily able to access with the help of this public so i believe you guys have understood that how you can easily able to access the data without calling any function using the public keyword we're going to talk about each and everything in detail later in the video just follow along with me so this is the one way to get the data and let's comment out this in the of example you have seen that the data is predefined but i want to add the data based on the function or on the contractor okay so what i can do i can simply comment this and i'm going to remove this value okay value so if i come here and now i'm going to update this data with the help of constructor okay so constructor is a keyword in solity which will run every time you will deploy the contract okay again we're going to have a detailed discussion on this so just follow along with me in this we have to pass this data okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to pass the string okay string memory and we're going to pass this hey okay so we're going to receive our data in this constructor and we're going to assign this to our variable okay and now we have to receive the number as well and now we have to update the data so hey and we have to update the number as well and this is the another way which you can use to update your state variable okay right now we don't have anything in our state variable but when we run the contract when we deploy the contract our state variable will our state variable will get updated okay so this is the constructor we have and now everything is looking fine now what we can do let's come back and let's try to deploy the contract so here make sure to select the contract and here we have to pass this data inside this okay because in the constructor we have to pass this hey and number first one is string second one is unt okay so this is the data we have to pass i'll type something like dollar and the number i want to give 23 hit on transaction and if i open the logs here you can able to find the transaction weight successful and if i open the details you will find the entire details of this transaction which you have done when you deploy the contract so you will have the address you will have the name of the contract the gas amount you have paid all the things you can able to find in the logs okay okay and here you can see this is the data we have passed a string and number okay deported okay and if i come back here and you can see if we call this function hey you will see dollar and if we call this no here we have the number okay i believe this makes sense to all of you okay so this is another way to update your state variable with the help of constructor and now let me show you one more example so we have updated the state variable with the help of constructor at the time of deployment but now what we're going to do is we're going to update that state variable with the help of function okay we have a dedicated videos for every single topic every single syntax we are using in this in this contract okay so here i will come i will create a function i will call say add info because this function will allow me to add the information in our state variable those variable we have created okay and inside this we're going to simply pass the same data we have to pass memory we have to pass the number it's going to be a public public and we can simply call this and update the data okay so we'll say hey we have to pass the number as well and that's it now this function will simply update the data of the state variable okay so come here let's remove this and let's deploy the contract so right now you can see we don't need to deploy simply close this one hit hit on the close this one and right now you can see we don't need to pass any data at the time of deployment because we are not going to update the data with the help of constructor okay we are going to do with the function okay so click on this click on this deploy and here we have the function and here you can see we have this hey is empty and number is empty but in add information we have to pass the data okay so let's come here pass the string i'll say dollar and here i'm going to pass number transaction you can see transaction when successful if you click dollar and if you click number so this is how you can easily able to add the data and update the state variable with the help of function okay so that's pretty much very simple things we are doing here hope these all things are making sense to all of you guys okay this is a basic examples i have given that how you can use the write a simple smart contract create a variable update the variable at the time of deployment at the time of function calls okay so you have a bunch of things which is coming on your way in this course okay okay so these things looking good 
so hope this makes sense to all of you and that's the only thing i want to cover about this sample smart contract which we have built in this video we're going to have a detailed discussion on each of these syntax we have used here don't need to worry about it we're going to cover a lot of things about every single concept which exists in salty so that's the that's the only thing i want to cover with that said let's move to the next video